Um, so I've mentioned a feature of the old climatically buffered infertile landscapes is the species richness but also the endemism, the fact that you get so many species that are found nowhere else on the earth but these very old landscapes and we've seen examples in the Proteaceae, Banksia verticillata being an example. Here on Stony Hill <coughs> we're on the granite and this is about as shallow as the soil can get. You can see the rocks surrounding it so it's a moss mat and it'll have about that much soil below and that, those two leaves come from a little tuber and this is a fringe lily. A fringe lily is a beautiful purple flowered lily-like plants, the little inflorescence is about that high with about 10 flowers on it and the edge of the petals are aligned with a feathery fringe. This species is Thysanotus isantherus and it's just like the Banksia that we've seen here, Banksia verticillata. It's endemic to the Albany area um, and either side of Albany just along the coast in these sort of habitats. So this is the most basic of, of, of uh, communities sitting on bare rock that's a quarter of the age of the earth itself. Um, and here's an endemic sitting in the moss mat. <laughs> um, it's, it's just uh, a wonderful little system of, of uh, profound influence. There's another little guy just here, a little sundew, and there's, a, there's another, if you start looking there's probably ten different species just right here. Uh, this, this family is particularly important on granite. It's called Borea, named for a French gentleman. Um, Boreaceae, and it's a, it's a genus and family of only 10, maybe 15 species endemic to Australia, mostly on granite outcrops, the vast majority of which are in endemic to southwestern Australia. But there's a species in North Queensland, for example, and one species hanging on by its toenails in the Grampians. Um, and, and it's a resurrection plant, so this plant will turn orange, you can see just a few orange leaves here, when it's uh, under drought stress, when the rain stops in summer, but as soon as you get rain, within 24 hours, those same orange leaves aren't dead, they'll turn to this green colour and start photosynthesising again. Um, and then they'll go orange, so they're called a resurrection plant in uh, a family that is a very distant relation to the, all the orchids. So, uh, the, the story of the evolution of flowering plants uh, it, uh, is within this half a square metre we're looking at right here and the, and the big story of old landscapes and why they're so special and why you can imagine what would happen if you just rode a trail bike or even walked across this moss, moss mat um, and people do that you know they use granite rocks for mountain biking and they use granite rocks for uh, uh, roganing and uh, all sorts of sports events picnics and um, most people four-wheel drives you know tr uh, quad bikes, all those sort of things. It's open space, so good place to use those recreational vehicles. And yet, uh, run a mountain bike over this. I know the growth rates of these mosses, and it'll take decades for that little bit to recover. So these are places you you shouldn't mess with mess with at all. You should really respect um, uh, profoundly. Thank <laughs> you.